Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Doctor Who and Disney in the same video. Because Doctor Who, uh, the upcoming season directed by, by uh, Russell T. Davies, could be coming to Disney+. Plus. Maybe, possibly. Apparently, Disney wants to get its meat hooks into Doctor Who. That's not a recipe for disaster at all, is it? Uh, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272, almost 273,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky sitting this video out. She'll be back later today. Uh, going to talk about this. This is a rumor that uh, I guess it was started by Bloomberg that Disney Plus is in talks with the BBC to bring the new season, the new series of Doctor Who to Disney Plus. Now, a couple things going on here, a couple things to unpack. One, Disney doesn't own Doctor Who, nor do I think they're going to buy Doctor Who. I don't think they have the money for it. I don't think the BBC would sell it. But they're clearly starting to put some feelers out to get content that's not Disney-owned content onto Disney Plus. Notice they said Disney Plus, not Hulu. That's a whole nother issue because Hulu, um, as we understand it right now, could potentially be phased out. I don't know for sure what's going to happen with it, but they've got until 2024 to to buy out the remainder uh, the remainder of Comcast stake in it, which is like 33 percent. So it could be that you know Disney right now is like, okay, well we're only going to get get uh, so far with Disney content. We got to lock in some other content from other studios and make it, you know, Disney Plus exclusive. Apparently they're going to stream it on the BBC too or, or broadcast it on BBC and then uh, throw it on Disney Plus. Again, th this is a rumor. We don't know for sure what's going to happen, but uh, it did come from Bloomberg. Said Disney is in talks with the BBC to stream Doctor Who. Uh, Disney is in discussions with the British Broadcasting Corporation about acquiring, acquiring the streaming rights to a new Doctor Who series. The talks are in the early stages, so there's no guarantee a deal will be reached according to people with knowledge of the matter who asked not to be identified because the discussions are private. Now, this is Bloomberg. They, they do have access to legit sources. The show would potentially air globally on the Disney Plus streaming service. The BBC would also air the program. Disney, like other media companies, is looking to bulk up on established entertainment properties as it builds up its global streaming service. So Disney if they're actually going to become a, a legit Netflix competitor, is going to have to look at uh, acquiring IP outside of its uh, wheelhouse, outside of the, the mouse house, right? And, and um, I, I think that they're like, well, we can get different franchises on Disney Plus and not actually have to buy those franchises, which thank God, because they would run it into the ground. Not that there's anything left of Doctor Who. And I'm going to talk about that too. Doctor Who is in a... A very sad state right now. The series first appeared on television in 63, and uh, it only took them 60 years to burn it down. Uh, Shudi Gatwa, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Shudi Gatwa, is going to be the next uh, the next doctor under Russell T. Davies. And um, when I heard Russell T. Davies was coming back, I was initially excited. And then I realized, oh no, this is 2022. Uh, Russell T. Davies of 2022 is not going to be Russell T. Davies of 2005. And the show is probably still going to be very ham-fisted and uh, political. Um, just it might be slightly slightly more deft, I think. And I think that's what we're going to get. I mean, everything I'm hearing is um, it's going to be a less boring version of the Chibnall era. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So what's interesting is, yeah, Disney is definitely trying to you know, pad out its entertainment. They announced this week that they're going to have Deadpool and Logan. R-rated movies on the platform. Uh, they've already put the parental locks in, um, you know, so they can bring adult content. I mean, how how long until we've got like Porky's on on Disney Plus? Watch Porky's on Disney Plus, right? Um, so let's talk about the state of Doctor Who, and we've we've been talking about this. Uh, you know, this this could be good for the BBC too because they have to push Doctor Who to as many people as they possibly can at this point because the show is in the worst state it's ever been in uh, since like the 80s. I, I don't know if current current uh, Doctor Who is is as bad as it was when it was canceled back in the 80s, but it's pretty damn bad. I mean, 
The New Year's special had the lowest ratings of the reboot era. The, the ratings have been dropping off a cliff for years during the Chibnall era. The show is boring as hell. Uh, there was a massive, massive retcon to the Doctor's origin. And you know what's so funny? Remember, remember how all these media outlets were like, look at all the Nazis getting angry about the doctor being a woman. And then the doctor starting out as a little black girl. Look at all those Nazi racists. Now, many of those outlets are saying, yeah, the retcon was really effing stupid. It was really stupid and pointless. It was officially pointless. I love this. This is, uh, this is coming from Screen Rant. Now, I don't think Screen Rant per se was uh, attacking fans, but I saw many articles, many tweets out there, you know, talking about how the, the Doctor Who fandom was toxic and it's just a bunch of men angry that the Doctor's a woman and, you know, suck it, man, babies. The Doctor's been women of color before and all this, this shit. And it's like, no, that's not the problem, really, that a lot of people had. The problem was that they fundamentally destroyed the lore of Doctor Who, and they were very happy to do so. And then they doubled and tripled down on it. And I don't know if if Russell T. Davies is going to walk any of this bullshit, timeless child bullshit back. Uh, my understanding is no. And if that's the case, that's a deal breaker for me. I don't care how good Doctor Who is going forward, if it's even going to be good. I have no effing idea. I have no idea. But as long as that retcon stands and they don't walk it back, and Doctor Who's a very easy show to fix pretty much anything. You're, you're dealing with time travel and multiverses, and you can, you can pretty much fix anything. But if Russell T. Davies does not fix this timeless child bullshit, you know, I, I think a lot of people are out permanently. And all indicators is that he's probably not. Um... You know, he he kind of came out before they were doing like a home viewing of, of some of his episodes and he made digs about the 10th doctor, not actually being the 10th doctor, but being like the 5000th doctor or something like that. And it's, it seemed to, you know, kind of be a wink and a nod to fans that he thought was kind of stupid, too. But he is friends with Chris Chibnall. Uh, I don't know if it's going to stand or not. There's been a lot of other stuff in Doctor Who that they've they basically, uh, you know, pushed it down the memory hole. You know, the doctor being half human, the billiard, what happened to him? No idea. You know, no idea what happened. So they could very easily bury this one. Actually, the way to, to go about it might be to just be like, let's start the new series and let's just kind of not reference the old series. Kind of like they did when they brought Who back in 2005. Like they kind of introduced new viewers to Doctor Who and then they sort of, as the series progressed, they're like, oh, by the way, Daleks, by the way, Cybermen. By the way, the Doctor had all these different faces before. And then they kind of like, you know, led people by the hand like, oh yeah, all these other episodes of Doctor Who, the classic stuff, yeah, that actually did happen, but we don't need to reference it that much. So I don't know, but it seems like if, if this deal does happen, it's it's desperation both on, on Disney's part and on the part of the BBC. Um, you know, I guess I guess it's kind of like reminds me of like Kmart and, and Sears teaming up to fail together. You know, but we'll see. I, I don't know. I mean, again, Russell T. Davies could knock it out of the park. The show could actually be very, very good. I have a lot of misgivings. I'm very soured on Doctor Who at this point. And uh, I don't like the idea of, of uh, you know, giving Disney more money either. Um, we do have Disney Plus. I don't even watch it. I don't even watch it, you know. Uh, but again, this is all rumor. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but there we go, guys. Uh, possibly. Possibly, maybe. Doctor Who on Disney Plus. We'll see what happens. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.